In a previous video, I showed you how I fixed a nice 4K TV with a tiny piece of tape. A lot of you commented that you went out and fixed your TV with tape, which is so encouraging to me. But while that tape trick helped a lot of people, there's another group of you asking for help with a different and a little bit more difficult problem with your TV. And that is with vertical lines and some other screen issues. Now, one of the reasons for this problem is because people are doing things to their TVs that they should not be doing. So in this video, let me explain where some of those vertical lines and other problems are coming from, what people are doing that may be bringing on the problem, and I'll show you some free tricks like using tape or a toothbrush to potentially fix the issue. So here's an example of the kind of LCD issue that I'm talking about. You can see these vertical lines right here. I have it on a white background so you can see it more clearly, but nonetheless, it does get annoying when you're trying to watch TV and there's vertical lines in the way. Now this could also look like all different kinds of bands of colors or vertical black bars or something like that. I think they all stem from a similar issue. Now I'm not talking about the kind of lines that show up on your screen when your screen is cracked and you can sometimes even see an impact point. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do to repair the screen. There are also times the screen issue might look like vertical lines, but it's really not. A friend recently sent me this image of their TV, and my guess is that it's a horizontal issue because the image is copied several times on the screen. It's helpful to understand a little bit about how LCD screens work and why vertical line issues are typically from a different problem than horizontal lines. Here I've taken an LCD screen out of a monitor, basically the same thing as a TV, to show you some of the parts. On the top is a driver board, this printed circuit board, and on bigger TVs, they might have multiple ones of these, and they're connected to the LCD panel right here through these yellow connectors, these little wires. So if you have lines on your LCD screen, the orientation of those lines matter. For example, if they are vertical lines, either singular or in bands, that indicates that there's a potential problem with the data signal that's being sent and the vertical data is how those LCD pixels, the subpixels, change the intensity of the backlight to produce the certain color that they want on the pixel. And the horizontal signals basically turn on and off. Think of them as an on-off switch that turn each row on and off. And those things have to be in sync with each other and that's what that timing control board does, that TCON board, make sure those things are in sync so that when the data comes down, the lines get turned on and then that color kind of stays there until it can make a whole cycle back around as it goes through the rows, turning them on and off. So the issue we're talking about today is vertical lines. There's something going wrong with the data signal that's going to the LCD panel. Let's open up the TV I showed you earlier so we can take a look and to see what's causing those vertical lines. So whenever you're working on a TV, make sure there's no pressure on the screen since that's the most fragile part. Take all the screws out and then you can lift off the back cover. So this is a 37 inch LCD TV and what we're looking at here is the power supply board. This is the main board, which is the brains of the TV. So unfortunately we can't see the problem by looking at any of these boards. We actually have to take the front plastic bezel off so we can get to this underside here. So in order to separate the plastic bezel from the metal frame assembly, there's these little screws that we have to take out and undo these plastic clips and they go all the way around. Something else that I wanna point out to you here is even though this is a Vizio branded TV, you can see who made the display right there. I have all the clips undone, but to make life easier, I'm gonna detach anything that's attached to this plastic bezel, like this outlet here or the speakers. And then over here, I'm gonna unplug these cables that are connected to the bezel. So now we can just lift up the whole display assembly from the plastic bezel. So here's the spot we wanted to get to, and typically it's covered up with a piece of metal, one on each side. So we only need to remove this metal right here that has three screws in it. So just like on the monitor screen I showed you earlier, there's a driver board, there's actually two on this TV, there's the bunch of yellow wires that connect the driver board into the LCD assembly, and there's also a connector that connects a ribbon cable to the TCON board. And this is one of those models where the TCON board is integrated in with the main board. So vertical lines can happen for a number of reasons, but one of the main culprits is what's happening on these yellow lines right here. So when I work on TVs like this, I put a piece of wood where the mounts are on the back so it has a little bit of room here and the electronics aren't touching the surface below, but I want to show you something right here. The TV is running. I have it plugged in. And you can see this vertical line right here on the screen. It's showing up. Watch what I can do when I push right here with the eraser. See? It erases the line. Nothing magical about the eraser. But what is happening is that I'm putting pressure on this spot right here and it's getting rid of that line. You can see it's starting to come back. All these gold contacts on the side are unused, but they are supposed to be used underneath under this tab bond. And for some reason, there's something messing with that tab bond, so electrically, the right signal's not getting through. And this is where that thing that you shouldn't do to your TV comes into play. So your TV's sitting out, the screen gets dusty, people touch it, gets fingerprints, and you wanna clean it off. 
So what can happen is you get a little bit too much liquid on your screen, either from cleaning it or maybe even from a spill. Now it depends on what kind of liquid it is, like if it's tap water, which has lots of minerals in it, you could be enabling corrosion and not realize it. And in case you're wondering if I messed up the TV even further, I didn't. I'm using isopropyl alcohol, which doesn't cause corrosion on electronics and it will evaporate quickly. Here's a lint-free cloth and you can use isopropyl alcohol to clean your screen. Sometimes they make a specific screen cleaner, but this is what I use. So I originally bought this TV on eBay and the seller said the TV stopped working and wouldn't turn on. I diagnosed the problem down to this tab on area where I noticed there was some corrosion. You can still see some of the effects of it here on the board. I don't have the original photos, but I realized that this capacitor down here labeled C212 was shorted because of the corrosion and it was causing a short to ground. So I just popped it off the board and the TV turned on with good picture, but with vertical lines more than what you saw before. So the next thing I did was I took an old toothbrush and some isopropyl alcohol and scrubbed this area to remove the corrosion, carefully cleaning around the tab as well as the underside of this ribbon. So even after cleaning up this area with isopropyl alcohol, the line issue got better, but there were still some noticeable lines like what you saw before. So I have three guesses as to why the lines are still there. The first guess is that the adhesive has loosened under this ribbon and caused some weak electrical connections. So for example, when I put pressure on it, the lines go away. The second is that corrosion is causing a weak electrical connection between the underside of this ribbon and the board. Now I don't want to try to pull this ribbon off and clean underneath here because I won't be able to get it back on. At least I've tried before and I've realized there's a reason they use an expensive machine to put this on. The third is that there's this component on the bottom side of the yellow cable that's either damaged or losing connection because of the liquid. This is called a COF, it stands for chip on film, and it's an integrated circuit to help manage the image on the LCD. And in case you're wondering, why don't you put a new capacitor on right here? I don't think that I'll have any effect on the lines, so I'm not gonna bother. Now, not all vertical lines are caused by the things that I've shown you. Sometimes it could be a problem on the TCON board, it could be a problem on the driver board, it could be the connection points of this chip on film onto this ribbon right here, or maybe even something within the panel itself. So I can't cover every scenario, but I do have a free ebook that you can get that might help you diagnose your TV. Vertical lines can happen with a failure in any of those components, but a tab bond issue definitely can cause them. So if you're diagnosing your TV, there's a few things that you can do. One is that if you notice that while it's running, you can put pressure, I would use something like an eraser, something plastic to maybe touch it very lightly. If you see that line disappear like it did when I showed you it, then what you could do is you could get some tape or some other non-conductive material. And if you have tape, you just like bunch it up and put it right on here such that when you put that metal bracket back on, it's gonna create the pressure that uh, will make that electrical connection. Now you don't want the pressure to be too much, but just enough to make that connection and hopefully your lines will go away. Another possible symptom of a lifting tab on is that your TV is running for a while and when it warms up, the lines go away. What could be happening is that the board is expanding and it's making that electrical connection. And if you're diagnosing your TV and you see some corrosion or weird substances, grab your toothbrush with some isopropyl alcohol and clean the area and near the tab bond, be very careful since it's a delicate connection right there. And after giving it a good cleaning, perhaps the lines might go away, maybe they'll become less noticeable, or at least you've cleaned up the corrosion and you've stopped things from getting worse. As far as this TV goes, I've reached the end of the repair road because I don't want to make matters worse by pulling off that yellow cable and the lines really aren't a major issue, especially when you're watching from a distance. So hopefully you've learned some useful tips that might help you diagnose and repair your LCD screens, whether it's a TV, monitor, phone, etc. So if you like repair videos or learning new things, check out this video right over here.